Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, I want to show you how to find the linear regression line using our TI-85 or 86 calculator. So the process for doing this is basically getting all of the data into the calculator and then having it find our regression line and then possibly looking at the plot of it to see if it's a pretty good fit. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our calculators and see how all of this process works out. All right, so first we need to get our data points into the calculator. To do that, press your stat button. It's right here. Now, we've got a lot of different options. Press F2 for edit. And in this first part, it basically just wants to know what is your, the name of your X list and your Y list. Let's go ahead and leave these as X stat and Y stat by pressing enter and enter. Now, when we get to this screen, we can actually list out all of our data points. And what we do is we list them as little pairs. So X1 is going to be 0 enter and y1 will be 3.2. Now when you press enter it drops down and you get a, an option for putting in the x2 and the y2. Let's do 10, enter, 3.6, enter. 25, enter, 3.5, enter. And of course last one, 50, enter, and 3.9, enter. There we go. So basically, all of that data is now entered into the calculator. Let's go ahead and press exit, and exit one more time to go back to our home screen. Now, if we want to get a good idea as to what this looks like on the graph, we need to go into our graph menu. So press that graph button, and let's first change our range. Most of the time, your window is set from negative 10 to 10, and our data is you know, not quite that, uh, in that range. So press range. And let's set our x values between negative 10 and 60 to compensate for these guys between 0 and 50. So negative 10 all the way up to 60. And that should include everything. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and change my scale to 10 because I'll have lots of little tick marks and I want to be able to see that each tick mark represents a 10. All right, I'm going to change my y values to be between 0 and 5. All right. Now go ahead and press your graph button and just double check that your window's in a pretty good size. Now, nothing's going to show up there just yet, but if we press our stat button and then press draw, that's F3, and press F2 for a scatter plot, it will actually put on the little dots for these data points. Now, this calculator likes to make them really small, but they are on there. So here's my data point at 10, 3.6. There's a little guy there at 25, uh, 3.5 and another one for 53.9. There's actually one right here on the axis, but it probably doesn't even show up because it's you know, the same size as the axis. Now, to have the uh, calculator do the linear regression line, we need to go into our calc menu. You can see that it's actually already selected up there. So I'm going to press second and calc. And it basically wants to know, OK, what list do you want me to use? So everything is stored into x stat and y stat, so we'll leave those there by pressing enter twice. And then I have all of my options for regression down at the bottom. F2 says L-I-N-R, and that stands for linear regression. Go ahead and press F2. Now this does the linear regression and gives us the values like the slope and the y-intercept and even the correlation coefficient. Now to go ahead and put this on the graph, we need to go back to our graph screen. Now, if you go to second draw, you'll notice that that will take you back to the graph screen, but it looks like there's no regression line. All I have are these little scatter plots from my data. But now we have this option that says DRREG, and that stands for draw regression. So press F4, and it will draw that regression line. Now, as you can see, the regression is actually a pretty good fit. And so there you go. You can build the regression line for your data. Now, in that option, there's also other types of regression, such as the second power and third degree, and they also create a best fit line. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.